Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Down to there at least. Right, we're making progress. We're making definite progress. Let's, let's rush this along a little bit. They're bringing in a whole load of stuff for these new prison cells. And that's then going to become a medium security zone only. You seriously standing there waiting for a guard to open that door? <laughs> okay, that's a little bit weird. I gotta say that is a little bit weird. I got 50, uh, 53 out of 59 prisoners at the moment. I'm gonna bring in a few more. I'm gonna take my up to 30 guards because I'm not counting the armed guards that I've got. Not actually including them in my sort of running totals. Let's slow that down again. Utilities. So. We want a large pipe in there. That'll fit that one in. And I'm going to want to dismantle those three to there. We'll run it on the outside. Actually, I'm going to bring it back by one more. I'm going to run it there. And then I will go here. And I'll run that large pipe to there like that. I'll run that large pipe down to there, like that. Right, lots of large pipe going all the way through. The electricity there, I'm going to dismantle that as well. That one can go, that one can go, and that one can go. And that one can go as well. Actually, that one can stay. Oh, I'm going to have to wait for that one to be dismantled. That's fine. That's not going to hurt to have that dismantled. And... And we've got the rest of these being put in. So I want to go back. That's now built, isn't it? I think that's built. Let's run things along a little bit and just see what they're going to do. Right, that now looks like it's properly built. It didn't look like it was built for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Um, improved cell. That one will go there, and then I will swivel that round, and I will put one into there. Then we will go down this way, and I will go one, two, three, four, like that. And I will do the same going over this side. And you notice that these guys, they've actually got a window on the back of their cell that goes to the outside. So I either need to like change the cell block design around a little bit. Or just kind of leave it. Ooh, that actually works out perfectly. Drop that down there. That does meet up absolutely spot on perfect. Going through there. Now, I can extend this one out a little bit if I want to, obviously. But at the moment, I don't. Did I just make a hideous mistake with that? Quick build. Proof cell. Concrete. I've gone and put concrete wall down for the whole thing, I think. I'm pretty sure I've gone and put concrete wall down for everything that I just asked to be built. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Let's rush this along a little bit. I've got a load of money going out right there while they bring everything in. One thing I haven't got at the moment is the utilities installed. So that's going to be my next task. I'm going to bring that one over this way and then that one is going to go like that and then you know what I'm going to take this down here so that can extend out on to the next level and I'll just bring that one right along there like that so that bit's done then I'm going to take small pipes. Now, I don't know if my small pipes are actually going to reach far enough over. I'm hoping they will. I'm hoping that's going to be a long enough distance for them to travel, but it might not be. We will just have to keep in mind that they may not be able to reach all the way across. I'll put that one over to there. And then you right out to that side. 
And then we skip down a bit and we go to there like that. And then finally I go over to that one over there. There may be some pipes missing after I've done all of this. But I've now got everything ordered. It's all in there. And I can change things around. I'm going to wait until all of this is done. And then all of this in here is going to be medium security only. So what we're going to do with that. And the low security people may get a little bit annoyed to start with. But I'm kind of hoping that we will combat that. Because I'm going to build a new cell block down here. It's going to be low security. And that's going to be the luxury prison cells only. Not going to have anything else in there at all. So now this one is finished, or nearly finished, I can go to deployment and I can assign guards. And I go one, two, three guards in there. I've got four guards down in that one. I think that will work well. And then I will go to patrols. And I will put a blue patrol here. And I will assign a guard to patrol over there. Right. That's, that, that's, that's all that bit done. I've got water pipes being installed. I've got everything else being installed. i got got everything being installed at the moment. I got up to... I got prison cells with 72 prisoners. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill capacity like that. Now it's mostly medium security prisoners that are coming in. There they are. Building everything all the way through. So... Let me go logistic. No, not logistics. Deployment. Medium security only. Let me slow this down. Right. Ah, those aren't built yet. If I click on here, that's now all medium security. That's a medium security zone. So I'll come out of that. I'll let them finish building everything. And then I've only got medium security prisoners in this cell block in here. So it'll be high security in the bottom. And then low security will have the luxury cells. As soon as they... Soon, well, I just need them to finish building everything first. There we go. All of my medium security prisoners, they're going to be really happy. The low security prisoners that are stuck in here still are not going to be very pleased about this. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got absolutely no qualms about this whatsoever. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. So I've got normal and minimum security coming in. 37 prisoners are due to arrive. They'll hurry up and finish building this. I'll put some more lights in. Like that. I'm going to need some more janitors. More janitor janitorial staff. Well, well, actually, what we want is we want our prisoners to be working as janitorial staffs, don't we? That would be more beneficial, as if the prisoners were actually doing it. Put you across here. Let's slow that down now. And put lights in front of those like that. I've got lights ordered in every prison cell. One over there, and one up there, and one on you. Lights all the way through. Off of here, and go to deployment. This entire block is a medium security block. Right, that bit's done. Next, go down here with our flooring and go to grass. Put grass all 7,000. Okay, grass all that lot over like that. I got a boatload of new prisoners turning up in a minute, so they will also be able to do things. And then when the boatload of prisoners turn up... Oh, this can't... I think, really, we ought to work on improving the canteen next. That ought to be one of my top priorities. We've so got all the medium security from over here. They're coming in. They seem to be liking their new quarters. Looking at them. All right, they don't seem to be sorry that they've got these new quarters. Can't say that I blame them. I think they're doing pretty well. Uh, these guys in here... Oh, he wants some sleep. Yeah, that's, that's my next thing. Is I'm going to need the medium security lot to do some stuff. Oh, I know what I meant to do. I meant to tidy everything up before I got the new prisoners and everything in. I got a boatload of prisoners out here. So I've got staff bringing them in. Uh, the, the, the whole tools thing. I meant to do some work on that. That was... 
supposed to have happened. Never mind. Uh, flooring out here and sandstone. I will go sandstone over to there and down to there. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm going to build the canteen bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the footpath. It's going to go up there. That's going to go like this. That one's going to come down there. There's my footpath coming round. Okay. And then I'm going to go with objects. First up. That light. See, I've got those on the outside of the footpath over here. I haven't got anything going through up against this side. For now, we'll go with it. We'll go... Oops. Okay, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go three wide on this. I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to keep these lights. This method to my madness. Don't worry. And yes, I do keep getting called out for putting so many lights around, but I sort of figure that if your prison is... This this is like this, this is my reasoning behind this. If your prison is well lit, okay? If, it, if it's lit up and all of the prisoners can see what they're doing and where they're going, you're not really going to have any problems with prisoners like finding a darkened corner to do things they shouldn't be doing so i sort of figure that if the pr the, the better lit the prison is the better it's going to be for everybody involved they, they'll be able to see everything that's going on now i know that the game doesn't actually play like that but it's that's the kind of the theory behind this so prisoners being better behaved is my theory behind this right why aren't you Building a light. Just not let me do it. If, have I broken it? Uh, I think I broke it. I think I've gone and broke something. What have I broken? I've got... Fighting going on over here. Okay. Uh, now, the, the, whatever was broken is no longer broken. It got a bit of fighting. Yeah, see, I, I, it's a bit crowded in here. All right, it's a bit crowded. Not everybody's very happy at the moment. We have got a few issues going on. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get that one. That one there. And then a double light on there. Right, so there's that bit there. And then I'll be able to extend this canteen and make it a bit bigger. I think that that we don't have enough room in here for the canteen uh, for people to actually be able to eat properly in the canteen. I think that's one issue that we've got at the moment. I've got exhausted workmen strolling around. Most of the workmen are down here clearing forest. That's what they're doing at the moment. 36 guards are still bringing in the new prisoners that I've got. Let's rush things along and see how we're working. So I've got prisoners over there. Coming into the yard. The morgue and the infirmary, I'm going to separate those out. I will have different rooms for them. Right, I will change that over and I will have different rooms for them. It's just not happening quite yet. I've got a load of workmen over here. Now, I'm saying fill the capacity, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change that over and I'm going to close intake again. Until I've got the next bit done. I'd also like to clear up the supply of stolen tools. Which is another thing that we're going to start doing. I'm going to start working on clearing as many of those as I can. But I'd like really the, the number of prisoners just to just dribble down a little tiny bit for a minute. Now I've got a large quantity of medium security prisoners in here. There's a lot of those. I don't know. If I was to say only maximum security in there, I'd have to turn on maximum security to do that. And would it actually... I've got, the... I've got ratios on here. And I've got max security closed. Available 100. All available prisoners from all open intake pools 
But what I'm thinking is if I've got medium, I mean, medium security, if I'm doing it in cells that size, it's... It's quite big, so maybe that should just be low security. Medium and max sec should be like that. Maybe that's what I want to be doing. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being a bit too generous with this. And then don't use luxury cells at all. This is for the low security prisoners. And have that cell there. I just extend that one out. Actually, no, we'll, we'll build separate cell blocks. I think it would be safer all around to have separate cell blocks. I'm curious now. How this could work. How we could make this work to our benefit. Let's just drop you back down there for a minute. Right. What have I got in here? I got a load of concrete wall in here. So the, the walls and doors, I do want to change this over. I want this to be white wall in here. Uh, so I will do that. I will do... Let's not go across the middle. Let's go to there, like that, and here, and here as well, and then take that one. I haven't got anything at the top. I have got that one that needs to be done. And then the same over here. And then we just want to fill in these. And I want all of this to be white wall. That's what I would like. If I can make all of this as white wall all the way down through here. That would be absolutely grand. Absolutely tickety-boo and wonderful. There we go. And you that way. That one. So I've got my proper white walls. I really like the idea of having this as the medium security prisoner wing. So if I've got this as medium security only, will it allow me... Like, if I don't have any room for medium security to come in anywhere else, will it stop the medium security prisoners from coming in? That's my big question. That's that's what I'm curious about. So, we will keep on with this plan that I've got at the moment. This, this slightly crazy, insane plan that I've got. And we'll see if we can make it work. I'm determined to make it work. All right, let's put grass over all of that. There's a few more trees to remove down the bottom as well, but mostly that's just getting rid of all of that grass. Uh, canteen. I'm going to want to get rid of that one as well. Or not get rid of it, extend it. That's, that's going to have quite, that's going to be quite a big extension as well. So I'm going to leave that as a three all the way around there. So I don't want like a, a little corridor in here like I've got. Um, it's going to be a bit wider than that. So if I go foundations, it's going to be brick foundation. So I'll go with that one. And I'll auto lights this one. No, I won't. Leave the lights off. And I'll go to there like that. And I bring that over. I'm going to bring that right down, level down there. It's going to go that far. That's where my canteen is going to be. All the way out like that. And I've already got a door here. So I want to go walls and doors, demolish wall. That one and that one. Like that. Uh, what happened there? Well, that wasn't good. I'm getting a lot of people that are going up to maximum security in here. So, yes, I think I will stay doing what my original plan is. We will try and keep everything moving along like I've already said that I'm going to do. I've got parole going at the moment. And I'm confident that it is going to work. Confident that we can make this work. I mean, yes, I'll probably need to make the prison quite a bit bigger than it is at the moment. But I still think that it's going to be a good idea. I still think that it's actually... Going to work out quite nicely. Right, slow way down a second. I've got canteen there and kitchen there. I need to remove this bit. Uh, not remove it. I need to put that back in. Because, I mean, I could extend this one all the way down. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not going to extend that down any further. We will move these benches around. Now, that's the next thing that we're going to need to do. Walls and doors go with the brick wall here. And put that back in there. Right. First stage done. Then we're going to take the tables. I'm going to start off by putting the tables up there. 
So I'm going to move. There's a bench there. Now, the way this one's laid out is that there is a decent gap in between each of these. But, I mean, you do see the guys sort of walking across the tables as well. If I put that one up against that edge... No, we'll do it there. If I do it there and I do sort of one along the side... If I move one there like that... And I move that bench there... And I put that one over there. And then I go for a gap in between it like that. So a gap space of one like that. I've got... what's Oh, that's... That's prison yard up there. I don't want that as prison yard. That's got to be canteen now. It's, it's extended canteen. Uh, store it. There's the canteen right there. So that's going to go out like that. I'm going to bring that down and... There we go. So that's now fully classed as canteen. Everything in here that I need. There are no prisoners assigned. No, they're now assigned to eat in here. This has all got to be moved around a little bit. I've, I've already got some things being moved. And then these are going to have to be moved as well. The serving tables. So that one there. It's actually got to go that way around, hasn't it? So serving table... I'll go up by one like that. That one there. And then that one will go there like that. So the staff from the canteen will go out through here and then they'll be able to go along the back of it here. I'm going to want a gap so they can get up and get, excuse me, get to the rest of the stuff. That's one thing that's going to be important. All right, they're moving some of this stuff down here. So far, these ideas of mine are looking all right. So I'll put that one up to there. I'll move a bench there beside it. I'll get another bench and I'll put... Oh, I can bring that one out from the wall. I can go like that. I'm going to take that one and I can put you there. That bench can go there like that and I've got a double gap so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these over by one so that I've got a gap down the side of that one as well that's what I'd like to do, I'm going to put that one over to there uh, that one can move over to there and then once they move those I can move some of the others as well I'll make it reasonably easy to do I'm going to leave this on oops, there, move that one and then you can go over to there Bring that bench, which will go there, and that table will go there. That bench will go there like that. That one will move over, and that one will move over as well. So I've got all of those bits. I could have just done the standard lights in here, I think. That would have actually worked. Um, that light there I'm going to move. So we're just going to put these lights out on a grid like this. I'm not going to do anything special with the lights in here. We will keep the exact same grid approach that is already being used. There, there. Don't need to put any over to the side. One here, one here, and one here. And then go up again and... Like that, like that, and uh, one like that. I will put some into the corners, I think. Just as I've got a little extra smidgen of light coming along. I don't think it's going to hurt to have an extra smidgen. And then we can go with table. So I can put another one here. I will have. So I've got long lines of tables down through here. And then over this side, we can go for a few more. But we'll get these benches put in first. Get all of that installed in there like that. And you all the way through. So there's a load of extra benches going in here now. And then serving tables as well. I'll bring that one over. I'm going to put one over that side. Excellent. That is perfect. I want to put that one there like that. So I've got room for them to go through so that they can get the trays up here should they want to use them. That, I think, is going to be brilliant. Now, I, there is 
we're, we're a bit squished in here. We, we are a bit sort of uh, tied for space in here. I can put one more lot of these in. I don't want to go any lower than that. Um, I go back to the objects and we go to the table in here. All right, I can, I can put one there and I can put it there. It can go up a bit tighter, actually. I'm going to put one here like this. And then a small table is two. It's into that space, actually. I'll put eight, maybe... Mm. Right, let, let's let's do this bit first. Let's let's put one of those in. So that one I want to move. That one's going to go there, and we'll do the benches. We'll put the requests in. We'll, we'll we'll deal with these benches here, and then that one, leave a gap and one there, and then I'll put in another table in there, and then all I want the last thing is that one to go there, and then a small bench here and a small bench here. I don't want to put a bench there that's right in front of the door, but I don't mind the idea of putting a table in there. It's all right, a small table. I don't mind the idea of a small table in there and a small bench on that side. There. So that is the prisoner canteen, and they should have room for everything to go on in there now. I've got a stack of food trays out there. Why are they out on the floor? I'm <laughs> not quite sure why, but they're, <laughs> they've been dumped out on the floor. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Why are you dumping the stuff out on the floor? Lights are all fitted. Well, most of them. The next issue that we've got is... Right, I don't want any orderlies, not yet. The, the issue that I've got is this... Wait a minute. Right, we've only got four janitors, so I think it's time that we introduced a few extras. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two gardeners. One, two, three. So I've got extra gardeners and extra of those. Uh, two extra cooks for a minute. Probably don't need two extra cooks at the moment, but it's not going to hurt to have a few extra brought in here. So there's my medium security wing up there. I've got my low security wing, which we're about to start as soon as I've got the rest of the grass put in down here. Not that I actually need... I don't need that at all. All right, get rid of that. I don't need that at all, not even a little bit, because walls and doors... No, foundations. We'll go foundations. And we're going to go this time... Cushioned walls... 110. Classy burgundy. Classy green. Classy blue stripes. Well, let's go with classy blue stripes. We'll go with classy blue stripe wall. 50. 50. Oriental. Yeah, we'll go classy blue stripes, I think. And I'm going to bring that one out like that. Now, that's about the same size as the other one. It's going to go to somewhere like this. There. That area down there will be um, that will be used for something different later on. So then I want to go to walls and doors. Grey stripe for low security. Now, I don't quite know where I'm going to put that one yet. So I'm just going to take a regular door and I'm going to dump that into there up in that corner. Just so that it's got it in there. They can build that bit and get that underway. I've got my nice big canteen in here. Which I'm hoping is going to be absolutely wonderful. It's just gone midnight. I'm down to 67 prisoners. So I'm thinking that we do a shakedown. A full shakedown at just gone midnight. There's a lot of places, 490 spots to go and search. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.